I don't really. I follow like American politics more than I follow Canadian politics. What do you, What do you think about how like uh, how Doug Ford has done with COVID and everything? What, what's your opinion on that? Well, I I don't know. I shit. I, I don't think politicians base COVID response off of science. I think they do it off of what they think is going to be politically popular. Right. Like, it's all about getting reelected. Yeah. It's not about protecting public safety yeah, and stuff like propaganda. that. Pure propaganda, everything. It's, everything they yeah, do. it's all about Optics. getting reelected. Optics, yeah. Yeah. So do you think he's, did you, well, how, like, because uh, when I went back to Ontario, dude, I got to say, um, like, I'm I'm triple vaxxed, you know, I'm fully pro-vaccine. Yeah. YouTube, don't, don't censor yeah. this. I'm triple vaccinated. Yeah, I'll, I'm I'll, triple I'll, I'll probably even get the fourth one because I just don't give a shit, right? I'm, I'm not scared yeah. of it. But I don't like mandates. I don't like telling. I don't like being told what to do. So I don't want anybody telling no. anybody what you know. It's like this is a free country. We do what we want. Now, yeah. what I notice about BC is like fucking COVID is over, man. Like it's a thing of the past. And if you're wearing a mask, you're not looked down upon, and you don't look upon right. down upon people who aren't. It's just we're all getting along. Mask people talking yeah. and not mask people. Everything's fine. It's cohesive. But what I found when I went back to Ontario, like me and Emily went into Value Village and it was packed. And like, there yeah. was like, there was like three people out of like 80 not wearing a mask. I'm like, holy shit, I thought yeah. we didn't have to wear a mask anymore. Are we supposed to be wearing a mask? And I'm freaking out. Yeah, and everyone's like, still mask. wearing masks. Yeah, and, and just like, what, what, why is it just the amount of people that are out there? That I, is it the community? What, why do you think that Ontario, is, was know. it because the cases were worse? Because people but, have been brainwashing the thing. Yes, I was saying it's, it's everyone's like going to get COVID. Zombies. Everyone's going to get COVID and, and everyone's going to die. That's what they think. Yeah, no kidding. It's crazy. So I, I'm on Twitter and uh, so I've seen people on, so I follow mostly. I just, got, stuff I, I, I just started using my Twitter again since Elon Musk bought it. I think that's interesting as hell. Interesting yeah, it's going to be great. We should talk about that more too. But we'll so I follow that we'll talk about that next week. We'll talk about that next week. Yeah, sure. Well, uh, so. On Twitter, I'm seeing all these people talk about how, oh, I don't care if I'm the only one. You know, when I go to the Jays game, I'm wearing a mask. You know, you know, don't judge me. Guess what? The Sky Dome is a 80% masked up. Like, why do you think you're the only one masking up? Like, you think you're unique and you're not. You're really just the same as every other NPC out there. Yeah, you know, I, I'm just uh, I'm just at the point where I don't care. Like, if you want to wear a mask, that's cool, but don't give me shit yeah. because I'm over it. Don't give me shit because no. I'm over it. You know, I'm over it. I'm over it. Hundred percent. My 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 dad. I went to I went to fucking Ontario. I didn't wear a mask anywhere. I went to bars. I went to stores. I went out with friends. I gave people hugs. I gave people handshakes yeah. that I hadn't seen in a long time. And and I, I got back to BC. I tested negative for COVID. So did both my parents. It's like, well, fuck, man. If we can do it, then why not risk it? I'm, I I just had a great time. I saw you. I had heart yeah. hearts with some of my best friends and my dad and my family. Yeah. And I did it without getting COVID. So what's the big fucking deal? You can't live in fear, man. You got to get back to normal. I don't understand the fear. I I don't I don't ask my staff to wear masks. And if um, you have anybody that you think that they think should be in fear, it's you. Yeah, you know? right. But I, I don't live in fear because I don't. I'm not afraid of dying. I don't get people what it is. People are just no. afraid of dying. Yeah. And I think, man, because I, I you have a profound, real uh, because I have a near death experience, you have a profound disability. I think we have a different flavor yeah. for the essence of life than yeah. most people. And a lot of these people that are brainwashed in zombies walk around town like they're going to die. I think that they haven't experienced anything yeah. very, very worthy and worthwhile in their life. Like well, it's just a, a droneish life of. Of, of, of the same old stuff happening every day with no really like creative thought or I, mean, I think it's like a lack of creativity to be honest like creative thinking I think it's lacking in society yeah. these days I've heard of children in schools they're now being told to take off their mask you don't have to wear your mask and they're crying because they think they're going to die right oh my god like we've now <laughs> gotten we've now put the fear of death in the eight year olds, good job. And they, and they were never at risk of anything. No, not really. No, no I mean, maybe some not kids had a pre existing condition. Yeah, and how about that? How they, they, they realized that so many of the reported COVID deaths were all comorbidities like half of them, they said. Yeah, it was like half. 
Oh, like half of the deaths changes everything. Like that that's where dude, the that's where no, the if you is. add if you add comorbidities, obesity, and sixty five plus, it's over ninety percent. Yeah, of course, of course. So yeah, mass yeah, if you're not too dying. If you're in that situation, you better fucking lock yourself up at home and get your grandkids to drop off yeah. groceries outside the door. That's your responsibility to take care of your own yeah. ass. Not mine. Yeah. Not mine. It's not you know. It, yes, maybe, oh, for, for, maybe for the first six months, but once the economy starts falling, it's like the, the young people have to make this fucking have to keep the wheels turning. Like we have well, to. Well, the economy is like not going to heal for years and years and years. And here's dude, I've been talking to parents. Parents with young children, their children are not learning how to speak because they're not seeing their teacher's mouths. They're not seeing their classmates' mouths. Yeah. Yeah, so they're not learning how to speak properly. That's insane. Thank so, God, like, thank we, God it's over because my son starts school in September. Thank God this mask yeah. shit is over. Because honestly, dude, if my kid was gonna have to get a, a mask in in school when he's when he's five, I was like, I think I'm gonna homeschool him. And I don't want to yeah. homeschool him. I, I want the break. I want the I want the social interaction. I want the I want yeah. the human. I want the human nature of school, like being around with the kids, playing, wrestling, yeah. yelling, spitting, slapping, crazy. <laughs> yes. I want, that, that's all part of being a kid, you know. And yeah. I want my kid to have the same kind of upbringing that I had in the '80s, like where there was no rules, or anything really. Yeah. You know. So I don't know, man. But that you know, I'm, I'm just glad. I'm glad it's over. I was glad I was able to come see you. Um, fuck man. Yeah, me too, man. This is this is 